Okay, in the last tutorial we were drawing lines and you could make shapes out of lines. Uh, as some of you might have seen in the programming language Scratch, you can tell it to keep turning one degree for 360 degrees and so forth. And you could do something complicated like this, this in Small Basic as well. But because um, creating shapes is something you do a lot when you're programming, they've built it into the code so that there is code just to create these shapes. So this next tutorial, which starts on page 26, uh, is all, oh, beg your pardon, page 29 of the PDF, is all about that. So let's jump across to page 29. So it says graphic window, so we're creating a graphic window. We're saying how wide it is, how high it is. We're setting our pen colour up here, and then graphics window dot draw rectangle. So it's telling it the name of the shape, and it tells it one corner, and it tells it the other corner, in fact the far opposite corner. And the reason it can do that, that it doesn't have to describe all four corners, is that if you've got those two, if you know those two places, and everything else is right angles, then it can only be that shape. So you don't have to tell it everything, you just have to tell it two opposite corners and it will create the rectangle for you. So that's just create drawing a rectangle and the next thing you can do is you can fill a rectangle. Now as you can see the fill a rectangle is just like creating a really big fat line but it's saying make a rectangle so you don't have to mess around with making lines. So in this next code we are going to um, create what they've done there and then we'll have a bit of a play with it. So jumping across to the window, there we go, and we quickly run it to make sure it works. There it does. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it and I say, you know what, in actual fact, I want to move that somewhere different. So instead of going 60 down, I want to go 80 down. Um, oh, actually, I'll say 80 across. Hmm, that's a good question. Let's actually run that and see what happens which is different. Okay, so it's 80 across, which is not really what I wanted. So I'm going to change that back to 60. 60 and 100, and I want it going down to 300. Yeah, that's fine. And 60, and let's change that to 90 and run that quickly and see what it does. Okay, so it's gone further down. So instead of being 60, it's at 90. Um, and like what, so the other thing that I could do is I could say, well, in fact, I want them both filled. So I'll take the fill rectangle code, and instead of drawing a rectangle, I will fill the rectangle. And then I run the code. Now, what's really worth knowing, actually, is if you look over here, when I'm on the code for fill rectangle, over here on the side, actually, that's it says fill rectangle and it tells me about the code. So it actually tells me that um, the height, the width, the y, x and y coordinates of the rectangle. So it tells us about the code as we're using it. So there's very much built in what we call contextual help. So rectangles are done. So you could fill the screen with rectangles really quite easily and particularly if you're using a loop of some kind you could do that very quickly indeed. Let's move down. Uh, so, here we have some ellipses, or ellipses, ellipses, I think, ellipses is from English. So, um, that's, you know, things like a circle. They don't have to be a circle, they can be a stretched out one, which is um, an ellipse, and the code will tell it how to build that as well. So, mm. let's grab this code. So, I'll just jump it over into the window before we talk about it. So it's telling us that we've got a window that's 400 high, um, 400 across, 300 high. We're drawing in red, and we're drawing an ellipse that goes from 2020 to 360. So again, it is very much about drawing the opposite points of it, and it will construct everything in between. And just like the other one, it will in fact put them together. In fact, what we might do, let, let's quickly run this to see that it says what they said. There we go. So there's my, my shapes, just like I expected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the code for those rectangles. Now we don't need to set up the window again, so I'm just going to grab the drawing code. And I'm going to pop it in here in the compiler, and what it should do is draw all of these shapes. So I should have um, uh, uh, an ellipsis that's hollow and a filled in one, and a rectangle that's hollow and a filled in one. And in fact I did, and but it, 
the uh, ellipsis is covered. But as you can see, they are covering the same shape. And actually that's quite a good way of seeing what it does with the ellipsis. It tells you from this point is the starting point and this point is the finishing point. Um, but those actually aren't lines on the ellipsis. So if I wanted to create an ellipsis that fills the whole window, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to lose all that extra code. I'm going to lose the fill. Now it's 400. So I start at 2020 and I guess I'm going to go to 380, 380. Yeah, I think I'll do that and I'll just change the size. So what we should have is a circle because um, these are the same, it's going the same distance and I'll just change the size of the window. And let's see if my circle, my red circle is there. Oh, there you go, it is. But interestingly, it doesn't go to the edge like I thought it would. Or sorry, it doesn't um, sit in the centre like I thought it would. Let's have a look at why not. So, hmm, 380, 400, oh, let's try a different figure. Let's try 360 and see if we can get it sitting a bit more squarely. Now, that's more like it. Now, that's interesting why it's 360. I'm going to have to have a think about that and see why that operates like that. So, let's jump back to the PDF. Yes, there's our ellipsis, and it explains to you that if you want it to be a circle, you need to put in um, code that will make it, you know, as high as it is wide, and that's what I just did there. Uh, and so there you go. You now know how to create a hollow rectangle, and a filled rectangle, and a hollow circle or ellipsis of any sort, and a filled ellipsis. So, um, so you've got two more tricks that you can do, and I look forward to seeing what you do with them.